Hello everyone, welcome back to Biomutant. In this one we are going to continue on with these rival tribes around here onto the right side of the map. Hopefully we can smash out these two that are left. And then we can take on the, what is this, Netra Fortress. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, in the meantime, just to keep you updated, I did do a little bit of exploring over here. Collected a few fast travel points and, and checked out this Chug Depot area. And this Chug Depot area just happened to have, is that it? Yeah, this one, Sprick, uh, Gong Mace. But unfortunately, to use it, I have to be level 20. And we just, I think we're level 16 now. So we've still got four levels to go before we can actually use it. But it is a massive upgrade. So when we get to that point, that'll be awesome. It's a, it's an ultimate weapon, it's called. So there's like a rare and then legendary. And then this is an ultimate. So ultimate is like bright purple. Very interesting. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we also made a new weapon in the meantime. I can show you that as well. Uh, so our gun that we are using now is this one. It uh, has 10 fire damage or 10 heat. It's a little bit of a damage upgrade, but it's uh, in terms of value, it's worth a little bit less, which I don't quite understand, but it seems to be working out really good. So I'm sticking with this for now. And uh, yeah, just that's pretty much everything that's happened in the meantime. So let's head on over here and see if we can start up this next, this next tribal outpost. Hey, eh? I think it's just around the corner here. Track quest. Here we go. Get on the mount. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, and I also noticed that if you explore places a lot, there's a, a bit of superb loot in a number of different places. And this sort of superb loot is pretty much what you go exploring for, you know? Like, if you just jump into a place and... And ex just explore it for a few seconds and go away. You're not really getting that much benefit out of it. Superb loot is really what you want to be what you want to be going for. So that's why it's, it doesn't really make for a very good walkthrough material though, because you don't really want to w watch someone, you know, spend ten minutes just looking around the place and collecting different pieces of loot. Like I mean, maybe the first or second time it might be okay, but after a while it gets a little bit stale. Um, also, another thing just to keep you updated is I unlocked a different perk. Uh, is it here? General. Perfect reload. This is the one. Your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly and your next magazine is granted 20% damage. I thought this was going to be more like a, a timed thing. Like you could use it maybe like once every minute or something. But you can actually use it all the time. As soon as you have only a few rounds left in your magazine, there's an option to click right bumper and it just reloads your weapon instantly. Which I think is pretty bloody crazy. I think it's pretty, pretty bloody overpowered, but yeah. Oh, also, my god, yeah. There's a few things that happened, actually. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? There is a... Da, 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 da. If we go to Automaton, uh, you might remember that I unlocked... Oh, true. I unlocked a, another skin for it, this one. But I think I like the Grasshopper one a little bit better. But we unlocked uh, the Glider. That was uh, That's what I did on camera. And the Health Injector... And turret are both things that I also unlocked. The turret is just always there, just automatically shoots by my side. And the health injector just acts as a regular health pack. I can just use it whenever I want, and it's on a little bit of a cooldown. And it seems like I just saw a panda in the distance there, so we might be able to unlock this last boost thing. Because here's that panda sitting down again. I think it is actually pretty random where this panda is, but... After you explore a certain amount of area of the world. I think it just appears. I think that's how it works. I'm not 100% sure. At various stages of life, we all become memories for others and just seeing someone acts as a catalyst for the past to seep in again. Oh my god, this is crazy. Memory distortions are troubling. Illusions your mind creates to avoid the memories of being bullied as a kidling. I don't think you actually have to win those battles. I think you just get it anyway. Because I think I lost the last one as well, but it still gave me However, an upgrade. There's no doubt that what you remember makes your future different. Yeah, here we go. Unlock power up boost. Activate the automaton's boost function in the consumable radio. Will to boost your damage output can be used after a set amount of time. So, you remembered the automaton's power up feature. That's a boost. So pretty similar to how the health one works. 
So if we go to the radial here, it is down the bottom. Automate and boost. Damage 20. Is that real? 240 to 260 for 20 seconds. That's pretty nuts, hey? Oh, it tells me up the top left there, I think, that I've got the boost activated. Interesting. And what's the cooldown on it? Three minutes. Yeah, okay, three minutes. That's not that bad. I guess a fight takes about, I don't know, a minute or, or two. So having it for three minutes pretty much means you can use it once per fight. But yeah, so many, so many different upgrades acquired in the last, like, hour of playing. Just exploring and things. It's crazy. I think that's where this game really evolves and really starts to feel like its own sort of, own sort of thing. Head down here. The Quirk Quarp Outpost. The Netra Tribe first beat this into shape. Another fast travel point. Let's see. And we shall get started. Says they've been waiting. Just keep going while you can and don't stop until all outposts are under your control. There is a high boom team ready to help with taking over that outpost, but it seems their arc shooter is busted. Seems happy to hear the arc shooter will be dropping high booms down on the outpost quick like. Uh, okay. All the way over the back here. Completely different direction, but apparently they're going to be shooting over the walls. Oh, it's a cool, it's a different area as well. So the area we need to go to, hang on. Whoops. Oh wow, there's some loot up here as well. There's that perfect reload. Oh nice, a legendary. Cone cap. Still not better than what we got right now. But still not bad. Get up there and get fixing. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Uh, this way. There we go. So that should be good enough, right? Oh, there's a few of them. Okay. Got another battle waiting for us up here. Oh, whoops. Hang on, we gotta try and get up there again somehow. There we go. Oh, they can climb up? What's that? He's got like a, a grappling hook in the hand. Oh no, he tricked me. Ah, oh, bloody hell, we gotta try and get back up there now. Oh, okay. I'll take it. I already got one of those, but I'll take it anyway. It's gotta be an easy way to get up here somehow. Okay, while we're down here, we may as well just start <laughs> doing a little bit of exploring. Not every day you see a ray lighter from the back in time, but here it is. Seems like the controls need some organizing to set the mechanism in mo- Just a few moves left. Make them count. Yeah, these, these little puzzles here that appear, they're pretty trivial now. 
once you learn what you got to do. Oh, here we go. We got a rare in here. Double rare. Oh, but that seems like about everything. Oh, that really sucks. That means if we want to go back to the top again, we got to go all the way to the top of that other building. And then take the tightrope over. take this second guy out otherwise we can't actually activate it we can't activate that arc shooter down here there we go just a few moves left make them count So one more up the top. Problem is if I knock them off the edge. Oh, they can climb back up again, I guess. Climb up again, here we go. Oh, there we go. Did it. Just a few moves left. Make them count. All fixed up. The arc shooters are already gearing up the high booms. Hope their aimers are fixed too. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. He says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You're one step closer to ending the tribe war. Says you're in good company there. Okay, cool. Another one down. So we should be able to fast travel. If we fast travel here, will it take us outside? I hope so. Yeah, it does. Alright, cool. Takes us straight to the edge. So now we can set to the next one up as the... Next, the next point to travel to? Okay, over this way. Let's do it. And this is the last one we need to take out before we can take out the... The big gravel tribe gang dude again and get his weapon, presumably. Because I think every single tribe person, every single tribe leader has a, a special weapon that you can collect towards the end. But now that I say that, I haven't used this boomerang thing at all, hey. 
I actually don't know how I can equip it. Or did I sell it? I don't think I sold it, did I? Oh no, here it is. Oh wow, I actually, I actually haven't even used this yet. <laughs> That's sick. Okay. I think for now I'm still going to stick to this though. Yeah, especially because that's actually a ranged weapon. And for my ranged weapon, I do want to be using this one. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's keep it moving. Well, collecting all these towers now is also going to come in handy later on. Towards late game as well, because... The, the enemies that you come across actually scale with your level. So if you're not upgrading constantly, or at least towards the end of the game, upgrading fairly consistently, it is going to get a, a fair, fair bit difficult. Let's see. So, we're ready. Fast travel point acquired. There's the sovereign who runs this outpost. He didn't expect his outpost to be invaded, but now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. Oh, wait, what? Uh, is this actually the last one? I thought we had one more to go. I think this might be the last battle for this rival tribe. He'll fight if he must. He wished for another solution to the conflict, but it seems he has no choice. Let's do it! It's their last line of defense. Once their guardian falls, they'll surrender. Oh, mate, I am destroying this thing. No chance. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. Oh, no, that wasn't the last one. There is actually one more. Okay, that's what I thought. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost, and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. They all hope you can lead them to peace. Okay, one more upgrade point at level 18. So we're getting pretty close to our, to our level 20 that we need for that melee upgrade, which is cool. And because that melee upgrade is coming, I think I might invest a, a little bit more into strength. To get a little bit more power out of it. Oh wow, look at our bio points. We have nine... We could do some investing here. Actually, I think I'm going to wait for this one. Mud Punch, 14. This one seems pretty cool. <laughs> so what else can we do? Um, we have seven side points. But we need ten for Levitate and Telekinesis. I mean, the ones that I'm going for are Key Spark and, Kai and uh, Sky Spark, right? They seem really broken. Like, really, really strong. So I might just save up my side points until I can get some of this. Either Sky Spark or Key Spark, one of the two. Apart from that, yeah, I don't really want to spend my upgrade points. I think there is another perk that I want to unlock for three of those. So for now, we'll just chill. Grab this little meditation thing. Oh, true. I think in the last, at the end of the last uh, tribe, I don't think I grabbed the meditation spot. Maybe at the end of the last two. I completely forgot that was a thing. Okay, so now we want to head on over to here. Oh, this is pretty close to where we were before, actually. We actually rode past this. Alright, here we go. The tribe leader is here. Let's do it. They've been waiting for you. Taking control of this fort will bring peace between your... You better be. A tribe's fort is a bigger challenge than an outpost. The plan is to fling you over the wall with a sling lobber. However, he wants you to secure a hard hat first, should anything go wrong. 
It's better you go and find one for yourself. It can't be too much trouble, though. It's one size fits all. A hard hat. Oh, all the way over there? You're kidding me. So how do I get back up here, then? Oh, actually, let's grab this fast travel point so I can just... skiddly daddly do straight up, straight back up here. That would have been so awkward if I if I flew down and then couldn't get back up. <laughs> let's see. Because I think the traveling in this game, like on mounts and things, is actually surprisingly slow. I would... It wouldn't be that bad if it actually went a little bit faster, but that's all right. Oh, are we going to make it? We're not going to make it up, I don't think. Heads up. That's Peak Spot. A great place to watch the world from. Who knows who might be watching you. Okay, sweet. Everyone sorted. Now we can climb up this rope. And hopefully it should take us where we need to go. Secure a hard hat. You need to get the keys in sequence. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Easy, mate. So, the technology from yesterday's is still here today, even if its message is getting old. Oh, wait, what? We can't fast travel? No way. Why not? We collected the fast travel point and everything. Maybe we just can't fast travel because we haven't uh, actually been there. Like, we haven't actually defeated the outpost yet. Unfortunate. All right. We're going to have to ride all the way there again. It's right, time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to their sea. Clarifies that rigging the... I mean, at this point in time, they pretty much say everything over again, right? Pretty much heard all the comments they have to say about taking over a fort at this point. It's all the same stuff. any super long food moves in a while. Oh, they're so... They're dodging all the time, man. Okay, sweet. That'll do it. 
That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. And like it previously, brighter than the light. We've done all that before as well. The next line of defense. Quest a battering bonker. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of shops in this area. Oh, I think as we finish this tribe area, the battering bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Also, I think another thing to consider is that if you complete these tribe outposts in order. It also unlocks new shops, which also then uh, provide things that make the the world eater bosses, I think, a little bit easier. Because you know the harder tribe outposts are obviously going to be provide a little bit better gear and Bet stuff. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. Yeah, li he literally has the exact same commentary for every every final outpost as well which is the crazy. Netron tribe yes, values yes. liberty and Rules. is striving to protect freedom they Morse. want to continue with each well, tribe being responsible for their own and believe that uniting Rah. the tribes is Hil the Rah. only way Rah. you can survive he was hoping it wouldn't end this way there's no reason to fight instead of uniting it would be fighting over nothing He'll fight for whatever shred of hope he has left to unite the tribes and save the Tree of Life. All right, buddy boy, let's do it. Oh, that's getting some damage in. Take him out. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful. Dugu thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others, and with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He's gotten news that the other tribes have realized there are no winners in this war. There's no purpose in antagonism. The way he sees it is that you've been forced into opposition. Your tribe didn't start the war, but it's fallen to you to end it. It's clear your efforts have been successful. There's light at the end of the tunnel. The tribes are tired of war and will remember the one who brought them peace, whether you decide it'll be now or later. So, do you want to end the war now or continue the crusade? Oh, we can choose to end the war. Continue participating in the conquest of the remaining tribes. I mean, technically, we could end the war now, but 
I'm pretty sure that if we end the war now, we don't get the opportunity to get all the tribe weapons. So all the we like the different weapons that the last tribes uh, have, I don't think we'll we'll be able to obtain those. That'd be a little bit unfortunate. So I think we'll just continue the crusade. That's not the answer he expected. You've reached your goal and had a choice to end the war without any more casualties. But he accepts your choice. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. All the way over there? Near the world eater that we've actually already defeated? Interesting. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Oh, that bow and arrow, arrow would be a sick weapon to grab. Oh, we got two dark for that as well. Awesome. Claim the rival tribe weapon. So this guy had like some sort of grappling hook looking thing. It's the Netra Claw Chain. The Netra Claw Chain. So is that somewhere here? No. Is it over here? Here it is. So we can like pull them towards me? Interesting. Huh. And I got a little bit more... Like I can unlock some Wang Fu for it as well. Okay. So, what is the plan now? The plan is we're going to make our way over here and continue on with the main quest line, I think. So where would be the best spot to start? We can fast travel here. Hopefully take us to the gates. Yes. And I guess we'll probably go under the bridge. Seems like the quickest way to get over there. So yeah, we'll just go over here and see what this... See what this person has to say, and then we might end the episode there. There's probably going to be some stuff to collect under here anyway. Oh, whoops, we do not want that, and we do not want that one. more of experience. Thank you, thank you. This belongs to us now, that's why they're all chilling there. Because this is now our tribe location. Oh, here we go. We can get another side point from this little, this little teepee up here. Oh, but first, and we get nine. So again, the aim is for either sixteen or eighteen. That unlocks the two final sire abilities. And I think if we don't unlock them now... Oh, what is that? No, thank you. I think we're just going to run from that. Are we still going the right way? Oh, we are going the wrong way now. Damn. Oh, but this is still okay. We can just turn left later and then we come back around to it. This place is called Bright Light. Mito lives close by. Zai Gandum. Mito? What is a Mito? Let's see. 
Luckily, there's a fast travel point. That's cool. So what does this guy want? With the world getting darker by the day, there's not much time left to save it. And even though you've just met, he feels you're bound to play a huge part in that. Figures that doesn't make it any less worth fighting. You found your way through the darkness. You shine like the sun in the sky. But will you use that power to warm the world or burn it? Hopes you see how much good you can do with power like that, and how easy it is to let it drive you mad. No matter where your path takes you, though, it's important to remember where you came from. The past brightlights the present. Wonders if you know how much of an effect you've had upon the world. Your presence changes things like light changes darkness. Did you realize that when choosing where to shine? Figures that doesn't matter. You can't help but shine either way. So happy you know you're helping brighten the world. There's plenty of it that's still worth saving. Whatever happens to the world, you shone as bright as you could. That matters more than you know. Says you did the right thing in taking up with the Myriad. They buy lots of his lamps. That's a tribe that believes in the bright things in the world. Claims he wasn't trying to sell you anything. Now, says he can see by the twinkle in your eyes that you're not here to talk about your allies. He assumes you are here to be enlightened. He can't blame you as everything just feels dark and hopeless these days. There's something about you, like you're knit together. Your fate's connected. What you've said, he feels too. So, why not call him me too? He senses you're like the dayfly, living every day like it's your last, afraid that when night comes, it might be proved right. Believes no one is entirely dark. Even the worst have a spark of good in them. Mito says there's darkness in everyone's life, but as a lamp maker, he wants you to know there's light too. His goal in this dying world is to be like a flame fly, burning to light the way for others, and therefore he still makes lamps. You look like you're in need of a special get through the night lamp, but to make something like that, he'd need a flame fly. Says that's the kind of attitude that spreads light everywhere. It's not a race. You only say that because you're losing. That doesn't mean I'm wrong. No, there are lots of other reasons you're wrong. So plus one for light. New side. Find the bunker in the ballista boo. Flame fly. So is that Ito it? says he's understand. Okay, so that's it. So the flame flies. Where is that? 180 meters that way? That's not really that far away, is it? Oh, it's all over. It's only just here. You know what? Let's do this. Instead of continuing on with the main quest, let's just go over here and see if we can smash this out real quick. I'm very interested in what this guy's going to give us. One more, here we go. Boom! Perfect combo. So is this actually the right direction? It might not be. Hang on. Gotta get this green stuff. There we go. Now I think we gotta go all the way around. If I had to guess. Yeah, I think it's in that tunnel down there. Okay. So, that would have been a little bit too easy. <laughs> oh, that's why this thing is guarding it. I get it. This thing is still not that strong, though. Level 
19. I'll take it. One more level and we get our melee upgrade. Which is why I'll invest a little bit more into strength again. If there was some sort of attribute that gave you a buff to ranged weapons, then I would probably take that, but... That is not how it works, I don't think. But there is a perk that increases our ranged weapons again by 15%. I think that's the one I'm going to go for next. So it seems pretty decent. Something, something there. Got something rare over the other side. Okay. Oh, this is a heat zone. Oh, this is going to be a problem, actually. I, I don't think we're going to survive in there. Is there anything that we have that makes us, like, really good against heat? We're going to have to double check if there's anything we can put on here. Uh, actually, how many bio mutation things do we have? We have nine. If we want to do this now, we could honestly just upgrade our resistances. So we're at 74. Now let's see if we can put anything extra on to give us that little bump in... We could put this on. Yeah, there we go. Now we got 100% fire resistance. Awesome. So this should be fine now. There we go. Not affected. Just need to bump up those resistances a little bit. Blisterboo, known for its perfect temperature and atmosphere. All right, mate, bring it on. Defeat the Titan. Oh, mate, I think I'm going to stick with my gun. <laughs> it seems to be working out fine. So, zero out of thingies caught for Mito. Flameflies caught for Mito. Here we go. There they are. You fixed those flameflies fast. One more. Mate, so many optional side objectives in this game are just retrieve and bring back. So there was a fast travel point, I think. Thank God. Mito seems mesmerized by the flame fly. It's fire now burning in his heart, too. Mito says the flame flies have always acted as guiding lights in his life, but with so little time left, he can't just make a lamp from scratch for you. Sometimes there are ether lanterns as light as paper floating around in the sky at night. One of those would make a perfect fit for your fly. Scour the night sky and get him an ether lantern to work with. It'll have a hard time shining as bright as you. There's a bright day coming! Oh, so why? Don't let the dark suck. The only thing that suck. It's not too late! There we go. A little bit of dark. Mito says you're making sense to him. Has plenty to do. Okay, ether lamps. I mean, that's also not too far away. It's just down here. All right, we'll grab that as well then. It's going to be a little bit of a longer episode, I think, but that's all right. I'm just very curious as what this guy is actually going to give me when I'm finished doing everything for him. Remembers you as a quiet kid. Grateful you got over that. So says you cut. Oh wait, has nothing to do with that. I'll shoot down the ether lamps. Oh here. Oh there we go. And we just got to pick them up. Some more fireflies over here as well. 
While we're here, we may as well grab this tower. It's weird. Some towers, they take actually a few hits to, to get down. And they give you then plus five or plus three. And some just go down straight away. It would also be good to know if those towers are randomly generated or if they come back over time, maybe. Because if those resources are limited, it's going to be difficult to, uh, to make some upgrades later on. Now that Mito has the Ether Lantern, he's able to convince the Flamefly into making it a special get through the night lamp. He's glad he's able to help you shed some light on a world that's grown so dark. He wishes he could do more to help, but too much light can blind as much as the night. If there's any way to help you see, though, he's happy to do what he can. Says hope is like light. When all else goes dark, it can show you the way out. Knows you have the Ark's fuse all trimmed and ready to go. Can't. Says no. Just want to see what you'll do. Thinks it's great you're leaving in the Ark, even though the world is brighter than ever. Time to bring that light to other places too, right? He knows you spread your light throughout the land, and he respects how bright you burn. Could you enlighten him as to who you plan to bring along on your journey into the great darkness? Oh, we could bring Mito so, as well. what we have here is an opportunity- Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is Duck. But you know you can't go on with- <laughs> I think we can finally agree on. He's Man, those guys going just talk like too the sun that you picked him to join you on the Ark. He can't wait to bring light everywhere. Mito says he's ready to it says talking. Okay, I mean I thought we were actually gonna get something a little bit more interesting from that. Oh here we go, we did get something interesting. A top mod. Rarity ultimate, damage 39, top mod. Quality, what's that, 7? Material, 12. Oh, wow, top mod. So that can go on my, on the gun that I'm using right now, hey? Let's see if we can put that on straight away. Ranged, here we go, modify. Top mod, here we go, ether lamp. Oh, we need 7 of those, but we can actually do it. That's a pretty decent upgrade as well. I'm down, let's do it. Pretty expensive, but I like the way our gun is, is working right now, so. I'm down for it. Okay, cool. I think this is where we're going to stop it here. We're going to continue on in the next episode by visiting Noko, the next part of the main mission. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and yeah, hope you're enjoying Biomutant. I am definitely enjoying the game. Probably not going to play it again, as I said in the last episode, but I mean, I am enjoying it for what it is. So thank you, everyone, for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.